come any closer! All right, guys, prime parking is sold out at Universal, so that means it is gonna be an extremely busy night. All right, so the game plan uh, at Islands, they have the, they're have they bringing back the Harry Potter, like the dark art, the Death Eaters come out and everything. So we'll be covering that later tonight, but we're gonna do the Scarecrow stock today. They have a bunch of Minions Halloween shirts. You had me at Bello, Glows in the Dark. I like that they just have like a sticky note on it. This one's kind of odd. Will Howl for Banana. Okay, so you can purchase the map from behind the register over here in the main gift shop. All right, here's a little shot of the bag. There's already candy inside of it after they got okay so here's just a giant piece of milk chocolate and the map is in here that's interesting okay let's see if i find the golden ticket how do we oh i just tore the chocolate open okay well oh yeah universal you're not giving that crappy candy they give out freaking reese's oh i cannot wait to get all this candy okay are already it's already paid for itself oh my god there's so many okay so uh last year the scarecrow stock there's different scarecrows in all the different gift shops you go and get a stamp and everything it was just in the universal studios stores now it's an islands of adventure city walk and universal studios we got about 45 minutes to accomplish everything in universal studios before it closes for halloween horror night so uh let's go all right now the first set of scarecrows is in the main gift shop so it's Killer Thriller. So right here you have the man, the myth, the legend, Alfred Hitchcock. You can tell by his uh, voluptuous nose. Here we have Norman Bates with those studying good uh, eyebrows up there. He's got his knife from Psycho. And then over here you have the birds. Let's see all the birds attacking the scarecrow. I'm guessing that's like the worst scarecrow ever because aren't birds supposed to be scared of scarecrows? And then around on the other side, they have a director's chair, some film canisters. Gotten our first stamp. Oh my God. We have 14 stops to go to. So uh, we're about to get a ton of candy for like 10 bucks. And sadly, there's no annual pass holder discount, but honestly for $10, this might be the greatest deal at Universal. The next stamp is at the Tonight Shop with Jimmy Fallon. The next scarecrow here is, I guess this is supposed to be Jimmy Fallon? I don't know what's going on with that little cow lick of like hair coming out of him. A Halloween show, K-H-H-N TV. I think it's just supposed to be a generic late night host. But then down below at his feet, it says applause. I do like the tinfoil on the TV antennas. Now during the daytime, all the gruesome uh, people, they have like bagged up. If you've ever seen Fantasmic at Hollywood Studios, um, after when they're on the final boat, right? Ariel's all the way on the back. And at the very last second when the fireworks are going off, they throw a bag over her because she can't move because of her little flippers. So when you're watching Fantasmic next time, keep watching Ariel the entire time because at the very end, they wrap Ariel up like that. The next scarecrow is at Sahara Traders, the mummy gift shop. Thank you so much, sir. We got freaking airheads here. What? I think this might be my favorite scarecrow so far. It's uh the guy from the ride. So at the top, you got crew hat up there, and then you have producer Reggie, and he's got his team member lanyard. You have the uh, Beatles coming out of him, and then of course they have the ghostly swoosh with the cup of coffee that is being spilled and then on the bottom it's the picture of him have you seen this number that's so funny i wonder what happens when you call this phone number of course it's starting to rain it's uh florida uh the next one we gotta go visit the family i didn't know i had a scarecrow in the family it's at the fast and furious gift shop oh my gosh before i get over to the scarecrow they have a look at these shot glasses they're just little like bolts this is fast and furious on it and it's a little bolt 11 bucks for this little shot glass that's hilarious Ooh, what's going on with this stance right there? This uh, scarecrow is showing off like it should, the Fast and Furious. Simple little face. Not seeing too many like fun little Easter eggs or anything. It's just called the uh, Dial M for Mechanic. In this shop, the Mechanic is king. He knows his way around the custom gear shop and has many tails, big and small. Kind of disappointed by this one. Just stamp today? Yes. Go by. It looks like they're about to race or something. Feels like somebody's gonna go out and say, ready, set, go, and then they're gonna rush. All right, now it's time to go to the Men in Black gear shop. This is gonna be the next Scarecrow. We're almost done for Universal Studios. Here we go, Men in, Men in Black gear shop. All right, I'm loving this one. So this one is called Conspiracy. So you're gonna have like a alien. He looks like a conspiracy theorist. The tinfoil hat, the Harry Potter glasses. We come in peace. Harry 51, warning, no trespassing. And then no audio or video recording without, oh, 
Well, I just broke that rule. I'm digging this one. I still think the mummy is my favorite scarecrow I've seen so far though. This might be number two. It looks like he's like crying. Now, a bunch of you guys asked me if the food and drink carts are open during the normal day and that's a no. When it hits six o'clock, everything opens. They do have a couple food trucks with like kind of some special offerings, but those are open the entire day. Those are over in San Francisco, but all like the specialty, specialty Horror Night stuff doesn't open until the event starts. Now the last scarecrow here is at five and dime. Now they have another of the uh, concept art for the studio screamers for Frankenstein. Now we saw this Wicked Diva hat last time. This is just like such a tourist hat. But there's a matching shirt with the icons from Four Nights. Lady Luck is actually getting love on merchandise. This shirt is absolutely terrifying. It is black, light, reflective, but it's uh, $40 for a t-shirt. 40 bucks for a t-shirt, that's insane. But it is very unique, but also very terrifying. Now we could create an instant scare zone if we uh, took little gizmo outside. Bad things would happen if he got wet in this Raid. Plans for the greatest roller coaster ever. Looks like he's in the men in black flashlight in his mouth. Oh, it's supposed to be like a black light flashlight shining on the back of the map. Oh, he's like a spy. You can see on the back of this map it says top secret e ticket. Oh, he's got a secret little briefcase back there. He's wearing like a secret trench coat. This scarecrow is called License to Thrill. He likes top secret documents shaken, not stirred. The world's greatest secret agent has arrived and looks like he's stealing the plans for the latest and greatest ride on this side of the Mississippi. I wonder if those are the plans for the Epic Universe coaster. Oh, it's raining even more now. And now I just noticed this. At the dark room here, you can get photos taken. And so they have a bunch of, you know, like celebrities and these black and white photos, but I just realized they just added Jack the Clown here. I did not notice that. I'm gonna scan the QR code, see what happens. Oh, it takes us to a website. Let's see what we got. Wisconsin? We're gonna have to do a deeper dive into this. All right, so we're heading to uh, City Walk now. There's two scarecrows here in City Walk. Update on uh, theme park stuff that people are wearing. Uh, this lady was wearing a trash bag on her head to keep her hair dry. Nothing on her body, just on her hair. That's it, just a trash bag wrapped around her hair so it doesn't get wet. All right, the next scarecrow is at Tucson's Chalk and Emporium. If you've never been here, they got some incredible milkshake. All right, so we have a miner here. So for this scarecrow, he's the Chocolate Canary. In 1849, this explorer flew to America on a steam-powered flying machine in search of the perfect place to sell his chocolate. The adventurous pioneer chocolatier opened his store for wary coal miners serving his specialty, real live chocolate canaries in the coal mine. As you can see, here's uh, here's the chocolate canary. What's his name, Perry? Oh my gosh. Get a little shot of him in there. As you can see, uh, he's got a, a big pumpkin seed going on. He's got his chocolate all over him as if he was like the, a coal miner with coal on him. Here's a little shot from farther away. You can kind of see his miner's helmet on top of him and then like chocolate oozing from his mouth. All right, the next scarecrow is at the Legacy Store. This is honestly the superior shop here at City Walk for all Universal merch. That's so all the scarecrows look like they're from like the oh, 80s or yeah. 90s. So they have the paint splatter like the shirt that they have for Universal. I like the sneakers. But they're just like screaming. These scarecrows are called totally tubular. Dying for a good Halloween party. These twisted sisters are getting the night started with a trip through the Thunderdome. Then maybe a quick spin on confrontation before the radical finisher of the Dungeon of Terror. It's like totally a fright night. Like a throwback to like the OG opening Halloween Horror Night. Okay, we now have City Walk complete. Universal Studios complete, so it is time to head off to Islands of Adventure. Now, I really suggest taking the time to kind of read the description of each one of the scarecrows because it's like a fun little story that goes along with the fun scarecrow. And now, the reason I'm going to Island Studios closes at 5 o'clock, and not all the gift shops, I believe, are open during that time. So, Studios closes at 5, but then Islands closes at 8 p.m. So, hit that first, then we'll hit Islands, and then we'll go back for Horror Nights. All right, the first scarecrow here is at the Islands of Adventure Trading Company. Oh, they're like exploring. Worse. He's got the aviation goggles on, a leather jacket. I wonder what happened to his legs though. A little spy glass, safari hat. I like the distressed keys on the side. A bunch of little artifacts hidden down there. Plunder's Paradise. These plunderers reside in the land of Port of Entry, a land existing between time and space. They search far and wide for their new Halloween home, drawn here by the mighty Pharaoh's light out. They bring their unique treasures of adventure and intrigue. Is this the little flower from Horton Hears a Who? Now the next stamp, you have to go to the main registers, but it does kind of give you some time to really enjoy the details in all these gift shops. Now they have 
merch for the dark art at the Hogwarts Castle, which we're going to be watching tonight. They have a crystal skull. Gives me PTSD to the last Indiana Jones movie. We'll try and forget about that movie. Then they have the symbol. And they have kind of a see-through backpack. I don't know what that says on the leather. So it's got the symbol there. It's see-through, which is odd. But you're looking at 65 bucks for that. Oh, here's more of a, a dark skull. I like this one a lot better. It's like transparent, so you can see through it. But it's like black and purple. Now with the numbers, it tells you what store you have to go through to get the stamp. So the next one is we're going to to the most original named shop here at All Universal, The Store. And uh, here we are, we've made it to Store. Okay, this is the next one. It's like a little kid reading comics. So it's called Don't Stay Up Too Late. Mom and Dad are fast asleep half past midnight, but this little hero is busy fighting crime in Superhero Island. Not even in his wildest dreams could these villains, outlaws, and evildoers defeat him. So he's surrounded by all these Halloween Horror Nights comics. You got the Sweet 16, there's Jack, Harry Press releases, Body Collectors, see reading here, Carnage Returns, I love his little shirt, his creepy little pumpkin face, and then Pumpkin Man, oh my gosh, is this what he's dreaming to be? Bitten by a radioactive pumpkin, lives with his aunt. <laughs> Maz and Ungool Ben. He will save Halloween. He's got a bunch of little candy corn on the side of his bed. And then just like the story says, it's a little past midnight. And here they have, oh, Ghost Town was such a good house. I love going through this. This is my first year that I went in 2016. Such a highly detailed, fun house. They got the Yeti from, from 29. I wish I could lift these up to see what are the other comics underneath. All right, the next one is that Toon x -ray. Now, if you didn't know, there's a special annual pass holder magnet that came out this month. Now the annual pass holder lounge at Universal closes around 4 o'clock, 4.30 I believe, but you can still pick up your pin or your magnet here at Islands at Toon Extra. Oh, he's like drawing everything. Okay, so this one is called The Animator's Tune-Up. Hard at work crafting a new animated feature for Universal Studios. This passionate young animator is tuning up his skills. Paint brush in hand, he creates a band of unique aesthetic pumpkin pals for all around the universe. Oh, so he's creating the actual scarecrows. That's great. I love that they base the scarecrows off like the rides or the stores that they're located in. And that one kind of like brings the whole, I guess, scarecrow stock story together with that's the guy who created them all. Oh, then here's a shot of the annual password or magnet that you can pick up. Now, I really suggest come to Universal as soon as possible to get these because these things, they run out. You can see a little silhouette of the caretaker in the background, the director, the storyteller, and then you have the usher up there in the corner. I love that all this stuff is included with your annual pass. So they have an ad, what we're we're gonna watch tonight, The Dark Arts Hogwarts Castle. I think the Jurassic Outfitters is the Dino Store. I think this is where the next one is. Okay, I'm wrong. The Dino Store is in the Discovery Center. Here's the Dino Store. Oh my God. Universal really just did this. They really just made, <laughs> they just made a scarecrow of this. I cannot believe they just did this. So they made a uh, scarecrow of uh, Ian Malcolm when he's shirtless. He's called a chaos theorist. If you're going to be a chaos theorist, you might as well do it in style. In an effort to get multiple opinions on our park's newest attractions, Dr. Gord has agreed to give his valued critique of the park. Remember, we spare no expense. Wow. Yep, so they got uh, Jeff Goldblum's luscious locks. They've uh, kind of like spray painted abs on him. And then they even have like Ian Malcolm's watch holding a dinosaur egg and then they have the barbasol can holding all the DNA in it and here they kind of give you a retro candy they give you Pez see the window open right there with projectors that'll project on the castle look at everyone waiting to see if Hagrid will reopen be a while, people. I'm trying to get the lowdown of like when the castle show is. They're saying Death Eaters come out around 7 and then they're trying to do like two or three showings during that time because the park closes at 8. We got two more left to get a stamp for. All right, the next one is going to be a Treasures of Poseidon. So it's supposed to be based off the tour guide that you have. It's got the patch on there, a little handkerchief. There's like an eel creeping up. Let's read. It says, Tour Guide Taylor. Meet Taylor, the terapithetus archaeologist that has seen his, his fair share of otherworldly phenomenon. Legend says, within the walls of this ancient temple lies a dark secret only Poseidon's trident can cure. So there's Poseidon's trident right there. Now there are rumor, rumors they were just going to close Poseidon's Fury. It's still walled up right now, so I don't know what they're doing. But the fact that they have a scarecrow there kind of means it might be coming back because I feel like they wouldn't make stuff if it's going to be going away. Because right now it's just a giant wall and it just says set enhancements in progress. Now this has been closed for a very, very long time. Almost 
two years now, I think. Uh, I think this is the Shop of Wonders where they do like henna tattoos over here. I hope this is my last one. Okay, I'm an idiot, but it's also kind of Universal's fault. Uh, Shop of Wonders is the All Hallows Eve boutique. Uh, why wasn't it labeled like that? It should have been labeled All Hallows Eve. So uh, this is the Shop of Wonders. This is the, the last scarecrow. Now this is the giant scarecrow from last year. This sucker was huge. So it says, All Hallows Eve, the wicked growth of the night is here, with the darkness ever growing, and the moon behind her hat. You will soon have trouble knowing which witch and which is that. Am I missing something? He's not a witch. Like he's a giant haggard looking skeleton, like the Home Depot 12 foot tall skeleton with the pumpkin. And there's all these creepy pumpkins, but it's talking about witches, but I don't see any witches. The final one. So what happens once I get the final one? You get to eat all your candy. The final one is, uh, yeah, Charleston Chew. I think my grandparents used to eat these. I'm nervous to buy another one. Let's go with this one. As we know, I've been collecting the Studio Screamers. We've gotten two Chuckies in a row. I swear to God, this better not be a Chucky. Uh, the team member said these are selling extremely well, so they'll probably do a second series of them because they say series one on them. God. We're in the middle of another hurricane right now. Okay, please don't be Chucky. <gasps> Finally, we got Frankenstein, baby. No more Chucky over here. Uh, here's a little shot of Frankenstein. He's pretty light. I thought he's gonna be one of the heavier ones. I'm so glad I got a different one. All right, we're gonna head into Hogsby now. Hopefully they started the stuff. It's just kind of like a gross, dreary, rainy day. All right, now they've added green smoke and green light coming out of a joke box. So I feel like they should be coming out pretty soon. I heard there are some Death Eaters that might be showing up. Why did Pete? No, yeah, no. No? I don't know where you, Is there a certain? Why? If they do show up, what should I do? You come get me, mate. Okay. You come get me. What, what, what's All your right. spell that you like to cast against oh, them? No, we'll run away together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, well, perfect. Yeah, no, I want, come on. I mean, like, I'm not gonna. Are you mad? No, I mean. I, I will be back. Yeah. And, you got a good hiding spot, right? Oh, I, got, I got a train, mate. Yeah, don't <laughs> worry. We're sorted. We'll be in London before the first person's yeah, cursed. No, it's completely safe. I don't. Anyway, that's, have that, fun. Oh, that's what they always Someone say. Someone set a spell on you. Have a butter beer and a sit down. <laughs>
trying to watch the new, uh, well, it's not officially new, but it's the opening night for the uh, Dark Arts Castle show.
the darkest of times, if one only remembers to turn on the light. Okay, we're, uh, we're heading over to Horror Nights right now. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the new Death Eater, like kind of a scare zone. There's seven Death Eaters, a bunch of different interactive points for the Death Eaters. So there's like fire and sparks and they control the lights. And there's like a, a victim that they like grab from Dumbledore's army to take backstage. I thought it was great and so immersive. Then you get the castle show. Yes, there's a Halloween castle show in Orlando. So that was nice seeing that they have that. I think it's great. It's not really scary. So somebody who's like too scared of Horror Nights, they'd be fine going and seeing the Death Eaters at Hogsmeade at Islands of Adventure. Oh, you know what's scarier than Death Eaters and Horror Nights? What they did to Ariana Grande's face for the voice. Oh, God. You know, they did her dirty. What is what is going on with her face? She looks unnatural, almost like an alien or something. All right, Dean, wait, where are we right now? We are at Universe Studios on a Halloween Horror Night. It's time to go to the Tribute Store and get another Tribute Store snack. Okay, for $40, this is new. They got a Halloween Horror Nights airbrushed Jack hat. This is just so typical Orlando, Florida right here. What is it like having all these people walk by you every single day? I'm a tribute to all theme parks, but mostly Universal. Yes, you are very important here. The, um, okay, what type of vehicle is Lil Trevor the first driving? Well, you know what? He was hanging out with Doc Brown. He loves Universal, and he's actually driving the first version of the DeLorean. All right, we've now tried this entire row. It is now time to try this Frankenstein cupcake. It looks pretty good. All right, so it's time for a tribute sword snack. It's a, uh, it's the Frankenstein cupcake. This sucker's dense. It looks like it has like green frosting and uh, black glitter on top. They said there's no filling. They just said it's straight chocolate cake. I like the frosting. I don't really care for the cake. The cake has the consistency of like a banquet dinner brownie. Let's try the bowl. The aesthetically, it's good, but as a cupcake, eh. it almost tastes like a, like a diet cupcake. I don't feel like I'm gonna get diabetes from the cake. We'll do a six out of 10. It's not average, it's a little bit below average. So we'll do a six out of 10. All right, we came, we saw, we conquered another day here at Universal. Do I go home and edit this video on no sleep so you guys can watch it today? Okay, yeah, the video's done. Same day, same delivery, like Taco Bell. No, what is that? UPS, and I'm kind of losing my mind. It's like seven in the morning right now. But uh, the video is going up same day that it was filmed. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's kind of talk about our day. A lot happened. First off, let's talk about the Scarecrow stock. It's like ten dollars. Took like two and a half hours for me to complete. Um, now, normally in the years past, you have to get all the stamps and you get a prize at the end. Um, your prize you kind of get at the beginning. You get that like chocolate bar, and then throughout your little stops and travels, you get more additional candy. It's a great thing for kids and adults because you know, as an adult, you really can't go trick or treating and it's kind of fun so it's like a way to do that while seeing all these beautifully decorated scarecrows that have a ton of easter eggs to universal lore and halloween horror nights lore and you get candy like can't go wrong with that so if you're going to universal i highly suggest doing the scarecrow stock go to any of the merchandise locations and you can purchase it for 10 bucks now let's talk about the death eaters it's a, this big thing like incredible I loved it. You know, when you build a very immersive, highly detailed land at a theme park, right? It's beautiful and great, but you need those characters and performers within the land to really make it feel alive. The, all the Death Eaters running through, interacting with the different guests with their wands. It was incredible. It, it was like watching Death Eaters go up against little kids was so funny. I was watching one and one Death Eater even got like disarmed and his, you know, his wand flew off by, from like a little kid. It's, it's a lot of fun. So I highly suggest uh, going do th doing that in Islands of Adventure. Now I would say get there around 7.30. Things were off today um, because of the rain and the weather. So we, I was kind of like standing at that little 
stage for like 45 minutes waiting for them to come out. Things are being delayed and everything. But I would say get to that little stage area next to the three broomsticks around 7.30. They do their little show, then they come out to the crowd. Now there's all these different spots where they like can shoot sparks or there'll be fire or they can control the lights throughout Hogsmeade. Um, so it's kind of like this giant, not scare zone, but you know, kind of like a spooky zone with all the Death Eaters running around. And then they do multiple showings of the fireworks show. So I think we saw like show number three that night. Now when it came to the fireworks show, sorry if the filming was a little shaky, I was trying to hold my camera. It, it weighs like three or four pounds, I think, above my head, so my arms are kind of like shaking. You know, I got these wonderful noodle arms. While you guys are watching this, I will be at Horror Nights again doing kind of the final video of Horror Nights before I go to Maryland for like the next like two or three weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps out with the videos. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button because I will keep you up to date on all things Universal and theme park and spooky and I will surprise you with every single video. I promise you that. Alright, I love you all. Please stay safe and I will see you all on Tuesday. Tuesday's video is going to be interesting. I think you'll enjoy it. Okay. Oh man! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs>